Greg Lynch and I'm an instructor with the McKenzie Institute International. I hold the Diploma in Mechanical Diagnosis and Therapy from the McKenzie Institute International. Today we're going to talk about the products and roles designed by Robin McKenzie and distributed and developed by its final publications. The McKenzie Institute International is a charitable trust that looks at education and uh, developing the McKenzie method educating physiotherapists, chiropractors throughout the world and looking at the method designed by Robin McKenzie. Spinal Publications are the developers and distributors of the McKenzie products, the roles, the products and the books that are used to enhance the McKenzie method. Robin McKenzie is a New Zealand trained physiotherapist who has designed a program, a comprehensive assessment and treatment using the individual patient to assess and treat themselves. The individual patient in most cases can treat themselves and the products and roles that we'll see today will enhance their treatment. The books that we'll show you today uh, have been translated into 18 different languages and are distributed right around the world. The roles also are distributed right around the world by various agents in conjunction with spinal publications. In most cases, patients with low back pain, neck pain and extremity pain can treat themselves. Today we'll show you how you can enhance their treatment by the use of the various products, including the roles in the books. The McKenzie method and what has been designed by Robin is looking at patients treating themselves. And in a lot of times, Robin believes up to 80% of the case, Patients can treat themselves. Each of the books go through the basic anatomy, lifestyle changes that may need to be addressed, and also exercises that may be appropriate for that individual in treating themselves. The roles that we'll be demonstrating today are roles that have been designed by Rob McKenzie to assist the patient with either chronic or recurrent low back pain or chronic or recurrent neck pain. The beauty of the books is that it also shows the patients whether the McKenzie method may be appropriate for them or in fact whether they should seek further advice from another health professional. So the system is safe and what we can do is demonstrate to the patients how they can treat themselves. It's effective, it's efficient and in most cases very successful. All the original McKenzie products available worldwide are made to standard specifications. Today we'll be demonstrating using the range of products available in New Zealand. So please see your local distributor to view the range available in your country. So if we now talk about the books that are available, there are four books in the Treat Your Own range. The Treat Your Own Knee book, the Treat Your Own Shoulder book, the Treat Your Own Neck book and the Treat Your Own Back book. The Treat Your Own Back book has also been put into a DVD as well for your patients that goes through the basis of what the Treat Your Own Back book tells you. So each of the books go through warnings for the customer as well as indications for whether the customer will respond to the McKenzie method and some of the exercises that are shown in the book. So if we now start to talk about treating your own back, some of the things that we need to advise the, the customer about is how, how to read the book and also to ensure that they go through the entire book and don't just look at the exercises. The book covers a lot of information that is important for the customer. It talks to them about what may cause back pain and how they can avoid back pain and how they can manage their own back pain through the various exercises. So it is important that the customer does read the entire book. It will also give an indication to the customer of why the roles may be important for them in managing their own back pain. The roles complement what Robin has discussed in the book. So in conjunction with the exercises, the changes in lifestyle, and also the roles, hopefully they'll get better management of their back pain. One of the things I'd like to emphasize is that in each of the books there is a warnings page and there is also a checklist page to see whether the method is appropriate for the customer. 
The warnings page will go through various signs and symptoms that would indicate that the method is not appropriate for that customer. The checklist page goes through also certain indications of whether the method and the exercises described in each of the books is appropriate for that individual. So if we look at Treat Your Own Back, what Robin has found many years ago was that there are two main reasons why people may develop back pain. One of those reasons is the amount of bending that we do in our day-to-day -day life and also the amount that we sit. And in most cases, most of us do sit with a slouch position. In standing, our lumbar spine has a nice curvature. In sitting, we reverse that curvature and we have more of a C-shape. And that is often the reason why we develop back pain. So what happens in the lumbar spine is that when we bend forwards or sit slouched, we adopt more of a C-shaped position in the spine, in the lower back, and that causes a migration of certain material within the disc that can then put pressure on the back of the disc and also potentially onto the nerve root, which can then lead to sciatica or pain radiating down the leg. So what Robin has found is that if we adopt a more correct posture, adopting an S-shape type position in the spine, is that that takes a lot of the pressure away from the intervertebral disc and also the nerve root and can alleviate the person's pain. So the book will recommend and go through whether correcting the posture is the ideal exercise to do for the patient, for the customer. Also exercises that can reduce the type of displacement within the disc and also recommending what type of role may be appropriate for that person. The roles are designed to correct the person's posture and to assist them in alleviating their pain. So we now have a look at the various roles that we do have on offer. One of the most frequent questions from the customer may be which role is appropriate for myself? And it really is dependent on when the customer is going to use the role and what environment they're going to use the role. And it depends on the type of chair that they may be sitting in. So if they've got a relaxed lounge suite, which is a bit softer, then they may require a role which is a bit firmer and more supportive. If they've got more of a modern type chair, which already has a lumbar role, then they may require a slightly less dense role so that they're not getting too much support for them. So it is personal preference that we will be guided by and it is dependent on the type of chair that they're in and also their physique. So if you've got a more petite person then they may require a slightly softer dense roll. If you've got a larger person then they may require a more dense roll. So we'll go through each of the roles and indicate why they may be useful for the individual and then also how you can educate and instruct the customer of how to use the role. The super role is designed more for a chair that doesn't have much lumbar support or more for a lounge suite or a couch which requires more support. And the basic education that you'll tell the customer is that they need to sit with themselves their buttocks back into the back of the chair and then they sit upright and forward. We place the lumbar roll in around about their bout line and then ask them to lean back over it. Now that's going to adopt the spine in a position that takes the pressure away from the disc. At first often patients may find that it is a little bit uncomfortable but the more they use it the more they get accustomed to it. So if a customer has a low chair, a soft chair, or if they have quite a large lordosis that requires more support, then the super role may be the appropriate role for them. If they're already in a more modern chair that already has a lumbar support, the super role may not be appropriate for them, but they may respond better to a slim line. The slim line is a slightly less dense foam, and may be more appropriate for them in providing that support. So the same education is applied where they bring their bottom right back to the back of the chair and then they position the slimline original McKenzie roll in their lower back and sit back over that, giving them that support. So it is personal preference and what I would suggest is that you do look at trying the 
customer with the various types of roll and see which one they prefer. The original Mackenzie round roll may appear a bit uh, larger than the others, but actually the density in the foam allows for that roll to be condensed. And a lot of patients and customers may actually find that this is more appropriate roll. Again, same education, bring the buttocks back to the back of the chair, slide the roll down into the lower back, around about the bout line, and then asking the customer to sit back over it. And what I'd suggest is that you try each of the three rolls and ask the patient, the customer, to sit with the roll and see what they think. But then also ask them about what type of chair they're going to be using the, the various rolls in. So if they've got a softer chair or a couch, then I'd recommend more of a firmer density, looking at more the super roll. If they're in a harder chair or a more modern chair, which already has some lumbar support, then they'll probably be more suited to the slimline roll. But I would suggest that you try each of the rolls with the individual person and see which one they recommend. And often they'll have a pretty good indication themselves which ones they prefer. One of the beauties about the original McKenzie rolls is that most patients find them really comforting to place in their back and it sort of accommodates the lower back and the spine quite naturally. One of the main areas where people may have problems is with sitting in cars. A lot of car seats may not be providing sufficient support for them and a lot of patients and customers may develop their back pain or leg pain through sitting in cars. The beauty about the original McKenzie rolls is that because of the shape of them they sit really nicely into car seats and again you'll just need to ask the, the customer about the type of car seat they're in, whether the car seat has already got some support, so a slimline roll may be more appropriate, or if the car seat doesn't have much support, then the super roll is probably going to be more uh, beneficial to that customer. So one of the more common chairs that customers may complain about is their office chair. And that's something that we need to talk with the customer about and see which is the appropriate roll. Most office chairs will have some degree of lumbar support. So it may be that for that uh, particular customer, a slimline support may be sufficient. And one of the beauties about the original McKenzie rolls is that they have the strapping that you can apply to the back of the seat. So if we place this in here, and we sit you back over that, so you can see how with this support, the office chair supplies some support, but the lumbar roll supplies more support that may be appropriate for that individual. If you have an office chair which has a full backing to it, then it may be more appropriate for a super roll, which gives added and more firmer density to and more support to the, the individual, may be more appropriate. So if you've got an office chair that has some support, I'd recommend looking at the slimline. If you've got an office chair that doesn't have much support, then I'd recommend more the super roll for that individual. Now I haven't mentioned much about the round roll in terms of the office chair, but it may be still appropriate for a certain individual, particularly those individuals who may have a chair that isn't providing any real support at all. They may respond quite well to the round roll. Or if you've got a bigger person who requires a lot more depth in terms of the lumbar roll. So the reason why I'd use a, a, a round roll for a, uh, for a customer would be someone who has an office chair that's not providing much support or a bigger person who does require more support. And so the round roll may be appropriate for that individual. The super roll is different to the other two rolls in the fact that it has an injected foam as its makeup. And so it is much longer lasting and whenever we've had patients who have used the super roll for a period of time, we're really not seeing any change at all in the shape or contour of the roll. So I'd be confident telling the patient that it is a long lasting roll and that won't fade or break down over a short period of time. 
So in summary, we have three original McKenzie rolls, each with a slightly different density depending on what the customer requires. We've got the firmer super roll, we've got the slightly less dense slim line, and then we've got the round roll. And for each individual, they may require a different roll. So you need to ask them questions about the type of seating they're in, and also really what personal preference they have when they're trialling each of the different roles. One of the other roles that is available is the inflatable airbag. Perfect for commuters, travellers, people in aeroplanes. The beauty of it is that it can fold down nice and small and easily blows up into a lumbar roll. So it's great for people who are travelling a lot, particularly if they're flying distances, because a lot of the time the airlines don't have great support in their, lumbar, in their seating. So the airbag can be blown up, and again, same principle where the, the customer will sit back into the chair and then position the airbag around about their uh, bout line to provide the support. Now, the customer describes that they have difficulty with sleeping, then we've got a role that is designed for, for that individual. So a lot of people have, with low back pain, have problems with sleeping. Maybe difficult when they turn over in bed. Maybe that they describe that they're worse first thing in the morning than when they go to bed. So several things we need to look at. One is, if we position them with a particular roll overnight, and the roll tries to align the spine better, um, if that improves their sleeping or they wake up better in the morning, then perfect. All right, um, and we'll go through the night roll. The night roll comes in two different sizes, so a 90 centimeter and a 105 centimeter, and again, it's essentially what fits around the individual the best. Okay, and the idea behind the night roll is, again, the indication for it is someone who is having difficulty with sleeping because of their back pain, or is waking up worse in the morning than their back pain. So they describe they're worse for the first hour or so in the morning, and they have difficulty bending over, putting on their shoes, socks, difficulty brushing their teeth, having a shave, that sort of thing, then a night roll may be appropriate for them. What I'd also advise them is that they need to read the Treat Your Own Back book, get an understanding of how the back behaves, and see if exercises are going to be appropriate. And if you find that the exercise is helping, but you're still having problems with sleeping, then the night roll is perfect for that individual. In the Treat Your Own Back book, it goes through how you use the, the night roll. Um, but essentially, you place the night roll down on the bed, You position it again around about their belt line, which is roughly their lower, their, the middle of their lordosis, which is the curvature in the spine. You either get them to tie it to the end of the bed, so they have it in place, or you can tie it around them, like so. And so if they sleep on their back, it's providing support to their lower back, their lordosis, so it's maintaining that S-shaped curvature. Or if they sleep on their side, the position of the roll is between the pelvis and the rib cage in that lower back. So the idea is that the night roll aligns the spine better and supports it, rather than letting things sag down. So if you've got a patient who has discomfort during the night, difficulty turning in bed, difficulty first thing in the morning, getting up out of bed, bending, then a night roll may be appropriate for that individual. Okay. Again, what I would recommend before you go to a night roll is actually get the patient to read the book, the Treat Your Own Back book, get an understanding of how the back behaves, try the exercises recommended if it's appropriate for that individual before you go to a night roll but if they're still struggling at night, then it may be something that the individual looks at as, in terms of the night roll. If a customer describes that they have difficulty with sleeping, 
and they, or they wake up worse, then it may be the surface that they're sleeping on. It may be the pillow is not supportive enough for them. But you may find that a cervical roll is enough to give them the support that they need. So often what I will do, if the, patient, if the customer has difficulty of sleeping, I will get them to use a cervical roll. And the concept behind it is that you place it in at the front of the, the pillow, or on the outside of the pillow. And the idea of that is that that supports that part of the neck that needs the support rather than dropping down. Okay, so in that position, they're able to lie on their side, and that gives them the proper support to again align the spine. All right, so it may be that they need to adjust their pillows and things, or it may be just enough to support this. So often, you may find that patients or customers will ask about the memory foam or the, the, um, the new orthopedic pillows that have that shape. And the concept is good, but a lot of the time what I find is that the actual memory foam or the orthopedic pillow is not designed for the individual. Often they will find that, a, that they've got a pillow that they like, and actually just modifying that pillow may be sufficient to give them the, the right support. The concept of it is that in most cases, people who have pain in their tailbone, if they're sitting, it's because they're sitting on that tailbone and it's uncomfortable. And what the coccydinia cushion does is it provides a gap where your tailbone can sit, so it takes the pressure away from the tailbone. And with the coccydinia cushion, you place that there, and then you're sitting there. So it is quite a high cushion, because when you sit down, it will compress. But for someone who has specific tailbone pain, then this can alleviate a lot of their pain. But you need to be aware that it is then going to raise you up a little bit, and certain car seats may not allow you to be in this because you're going to be too high or you can't reach the pedal or you're going to hit your head on the roof. So you need to try and work out with the individual whether this may be appropriate. But if someone's sitting a lot and they have tailbone pain, then this can be an absolute godsend for them. Mm -hmm.